This is a bit of a continuation of the very first comparison I did between these two for the 2011 Mr. Olympia event. And that is where Dennis Wolf started to place ahead of Dexter Jackson. This here is the 2015 Mr. Olympia event. Dennis Wolf, he placed fourth here. Very disappointing. And Dexter Jackson surprised everybody with a second place finish. And prior to this, 2014, 2013, Dennis Wolf was placing ahead of Dexter. So Dexter somehow managed to get better and place, start placing ahead of the younger guys. Anyway, this is the front relaxed position. We have a couple. We don't have two of every pitcher, but we have, I have what I got. You know, I'll show you what I have. I can't show you what I don't have. I mean, that's impossible. I could tell you what I don't have. But anyway, enough of that foolishness. We don't have a rear relaxed dive into the muscularity round. Front double bicep pose. And in my opinion, and that might just be me, but this will always be a Dexter Jackson pose. Dennis Wolf, you got to think. He's a much, much larger man. And his arms look smaller, I believe. Perhaps he tore his tricep. Maybe his, his right tricep appears to be quite a bit smaller. And both arms actually look a lot smaller than they used to be. The old gray mare, he ain't what he used to be. His calf, really a glaring omission. And you can see what I mean when I say I don't cover up for Dexter Jackson. I'm just saying his calves are not that bad. I mean, you look at him. I don't see a tiny set of calves. When I look at Dennis Wolf, I do. Or a big Rammy from the front. It's just the quads are too big too big and his torso perhaps too long dexter more of a perfect physique i guess you could say good set of arms on dexter jackson very underrated front lat spread now this is the opposite so we start off with a pretty even even steven i guess you could say and i i had no need really for another galleries baby please of these two poses oh sorry louis marco anyway front lat spread it's obvious Maybe even more so than the front double by. Dexter Jackson, his arms were a lot better in the front double by. And this is the front lat. So look at the lats, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to say it, but Dexter Jackson, very weak in this pose. Go to the side, and this is one pose that Dexter Jackson is not going to be weak on. And this one here, watch the 2011 one that I did in the side chest. His glutes were softer, I believe, than Dennis Wolf's. He, he just looked smaller, weaker. This one here, look at the muscle separation in his delts. And the pecs are like two big balloons. They look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. My goodness. Well, maybe not. Another one here, Dennis Wolf displaying his other side. I think, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm gonna stay off the medication. I think that's a different side. <laughs> Either way, ladies and gentlemen, this is a this is a Dexter Jackson pose, I believe. It's more aesthetic. Like I said, that muscle separation from delt to arm, tricep, bicep, it means a lot. To me, the side tricep means leg development, or side chest rather. This is the side tricep, but I gave the side chest to Dexter Jackson. This is the only tricep pose that I could find of Dexter Jackson. There was a couple of more of Dennis Wolf, and they did, they were more flattering than this one. But neither one of these am I gonna. I'm going to write home about. Uh, it's a tight decision. So nobody really, like I said, is going to get a point for this one. So don't write it down. Rear lat spread. Dennis Wolf is very dominant in this when it comes to the width. His back, very hard as well. Grainy. Dexter Jackson, very perfect. He looks a lot tighter in the glutes. A lot tighter. But that width. Dennis Wolf. Just dominant in that aspect we're gonna have to have another gallery for this one and this one dennis wolf appears to be not only deflated but his glutes look a lot softer and dexter jackson seems to have dried out wow nobody quite does it like dexter jackson this this one here now the other one is leaning towards dennis but this one here I'm leaning towards the much smaller man, much smaller man, but still much more detailed and perhaps more conditioned as well. Rear double bicep. Mm, this one here, it's a 
bad pose for Dennis Wolf. The later on in his career you go, the more shallow his back got. And of course, he is losing in the, the glute department. Good set of legs, though, aside from the calves. But Dexter Jackson, he doesn't have the best set of calves in the world, either or there either. This one here, maybe even worse for Dennis Wolf. Maybe even better, perhaps. More, uh, more suitingly, it's probably a better pose for Dexter Jackson with the red background. Look at the detail, the blade, the glutes. It's a close matchup, guys, but I give De Dexter Jackson the an edge in both back shots. I would say he's more conditioned, guys. Ab and thigh, this is a a car wreck, really, for Dennis Wolf. His abs, definitely a very visible split. His belly button, a little bit, it's a poltrusion of a belly button, let's face it. Now, guys take so much. They take so many extra vitamins and supplements, if you know what I mean. And the stomach suffers. Yes, you put on inches, not on the calves, that's for sure. All these extra vitamins these guys take, it doesn't put it on their calves, but everywhere else. But especially the stomach, the gut. And it tears it up. You can never bounce back from a scarring like that. Dexter Jackson gets the ab and thigh, guys, and I'm... Definitely leaning towards the Jackson man. This most muscular pose. Dennis Wolf. He does look decent. He looks good. Hard and grainy. But when you think about past Dennis Wolves, his pec development is dwindling away to nothing. And I think the judges really focus in on that. The guy is not improving and he's definitely getting worse. They ding him for that. Dexter Jackson is a, looks a lot better here. And I believe the point is, Dexter improved from 2014 and Dennis Wolf got worse from 2014. So the placings honestly were correct. Dexter did place fifth the year before and Dennis with the fourth place this time. Switched up, but Dexter was advanced on to second. First time I believe he ever placed second. Hmm. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Hit thumbs up if you did. And let me know if you'd like to have more between Dennis Wolf and Dexter Jackson because there's a lot of years that they they were neck and neck. It was a hard, uh, hard decision between them. Dexter Jackson wins this one, though. Hit thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Find me on Instagram. That is my spiel. Have a good day, guys.